Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, NAODS.com. And this is Tuesdays with Michelle, so I'm going to give you a really quick tip for today's Tuesday tip, and it is going to be the Zoom Burst tool. Now, if you have earlier versions, I don't believe it was in those earlier versions, so you have to have version 12 or above, I believe, to use this tool. So what you're going to do is it's basically going to give you something that looks about like this. Now this guy was skateboarding along in San Francisco when I was there a few months ago and um, thought that it needed a little bit of push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how to get that. Here is the original photo and I'm in the expert mode right now. What you need to do is bounce on over to the guided section and you're going to see on the right hand side you're going to see touch-ups, photo effects, and then photo play. Now you can open and close these up by clicking on these little arrows to the right hand side of that. This effect that you're going to need is called the, the zoom burst effect. And it's located inside of the photo effects tab. So if you don't see that, it might mean that you have an earlier version. So I'm going to click on zoom burst effect and it shows you exactly what it's going to do to your photo. If you roll over this photo in the upper right hand corner, you will see what it's going to do. Next, you crop it. I'm not going to crop this because I think I want the whole entire photo, but if you wanted to, you can just click on crop and then you just click and drag around the area that you want to keep. I'm going to go ahead and add zoom burst now. And basically, you just go step by step on what you want to do. First of all, it says crop. If you don't want to crop, you just go ahead and skip right over that. Then you click on Add Zoom Burst. It's taking a little bit more time than usual because I think this is a really high resolution photo. Okay, there's my Zoom Burst effect. Now we want to make sure that we can focus on the skateboarder. So we need to click on Add Focus Area in the bottom right hand corner. And then what you need to do is click and drag the area that you want to be in focus. So I need that skateboard to be in focus too because if you don't see that skateboard, people are going to say, well, I don't get it. That's not really, <laughs> doesn't make sense to me. So I'm going to click down here and make sure that I go and get that skateboard in focus. And you kind of had to play around with it just a little bit too. So that looks okay. And I'm going to click on done to go ahead and apply it. And there you have the zoom burst effect. Now this just works pretty good with most things that you want to make look like there's action involved. So cars or sports or any kind of photos that you can think of that you want a little bit of action. I would love for you to go ahead and try this out right now. Then come back to Facebook. Go to Facebook. If you are watching this from YouTube, just go to facebook.com slash learn photo editing and go to find out my post or and go ahead and post it in the comments below the photo that you used this zoom burst effect with I would love to see everybody's samples you can also post your website if you have a business if it's scrapbook related or not uh, that's always fun too so be sure to like share and comment below if you're interested in becoming a member let me show you what look the membership area looks like real quick for those of you who need to know what you can do is you can go into the login area once you are a member and then you punch in your username and password and the passwords kind of funky so you might have to copy and paste it if you just become a member it's, it's kind of a funky password and then you can sit a click and tide of the gold membership and you see all all these various training videos, hundreds of hours of training in here. We have advanced masking, we have snickerdoodle designs, organizing your digi kits, understanding word art and typography, uh, creating your own frames, creating collages, using templates, uh, fun with filters and plugins, the list goes on and on portrait retouching, how to create your own stamps and watermarks, um, what's new to version 11, what's new to version 12. We have version 9, 10, 11, and 12 in here and at the time that we are taping this and we have um, different collages. We have all the Tuesdays with Michelle archived. We have a bunch of downloadables as well. So take a look at that. If you are a member, make sure you go to our site to check out when our next and upcoming members only class is going to be held. And it's naods.com. And then you just click on where it says members only classes. 
and that will give you the, the lineup of the next few weeks. So all of these classes will be coming up soon if you're watching this at the time of the taping, which um, some of you may and some of you may be watching this a little bit later. So it kind of depends on the timing. Again, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Yes, my son has a baseball game here shortly, and that's why I have my baseball attire on. Yes, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. Do, 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 do. And my dog's about to start barking, so let's get the show on the road.